I want to just introduce this cool little project to you. Um, this is about taking the cross sections of a cube, cutting a cube through a parallel slice and seeing what shapes are formed. Those are called cross sections. Um, when I first started thinking about this idea, I thought, how could I do this in my classroom? Should we bring in little tiny cubes of cheese and cut them up? Should we bring in Play-Doh and kind of form it and cut it and see what we could see? And then I realized all those things would be a lot of work and a lot of trouble and that, whoa, we have technology and things like that. And sure enough, I came across this wonderful, wonderful uh, website, Shodar Interactive, and they uh, have all kinds of amazing things there. And one of them they have is a cross-sectional cutter. And so we're going to use that. So the idea is we're going to play with a cube and kind of cut it and see what shapes we can make. You'll begin by first making some um, predictions. And like um, any type of um, scientific inquiry, you would first begin with hypothesis and prediction. And so we're going to do the same. And you're going to pick what you think you can make. And then uh, you will go to that website and uh, set it up so that you're in a cube and you can see a few things. I'll demonstrate in that in a minute. Once you see some of these, let's say I saw that particular cross-section of an equilateral triangle, then what I would do is I would come to this page and basically plot the key points and connect it and shade a plane so that I can see which ones are actually doable and which ones aren't. So this turns out to be kind of like your recording process. And then you'll know which ones can or can't be done. And then there'll be some questions that will follow up. Let me uh, show you. When you load this up, um, uh, this is what comes up with the double cube. And so it instructs you to change it to a prism. And notice that's a hexagonal prism. And you can grab this thing and move it, which is so good. And if you don't like the positioning, you can always reset it. And then um, over here, you can change the number of sides that you have um, faces. And so we want a cube. So I'm going to go to four. And there is our cube. And on the right is kind of a, is the cross-sectional look. So you can see one, two, three, four, five. There's a, a pentagon. So we could actually say, hey, a pentagon is possible. And then run over and plot that and show that we can make that. So these sliders allow you to adjust. Ooh, that looks pretty cool. That looks like kind of an isosceles trapezoid. Uh, we can make other things. Could we make a hexagon? Could we make a octagon? And we begin playing with this, watching what's happening here as well as what's here. This is a fun little activity. Enjoy it. I think you'll, you'll really enjoy this activity.